So let's dive down a little deeper into professionalism. What does it mean for us and our students? Well, for us, it means that students can understand that a certain amount of code switching and self-management is a necessary part of being on a professional team at any level. Right? Whether you're an adult or a student, you need to self-manage, you need to be professional, and you need to be able to uh, hold yourself back at times and kind of step up at other times. So being professional is the baseline that enables somebody to get and keep a job at any level in any field. Right? These are the skills we want our students to have at a very low baseline. Right? So for our students, even if your grades, test scores, or skills are strong, if you aren't professional, you're not going to get recommendations for college or other jobs. Right? I'm not going to give a recommendation for a staff member I work with who maybe they have great test results, but they you know, are rude to all their coworkers and make it a really bad place to work. Those people are not going to get my recommendation. In the same way, our students need to master professionalism or demonstrate professionalism habits um, in order to get those recs and continue to be successful, no matter their academic ability. And so in PLT, students will practice professionalism by demonstrating self-control in various situations. And in the next slide, I'll dive in a little bit deeper to tell you what those look like.